hello and welcome to another video um, accounting so today we'll talk about um, the cash budget so we have this exercise to prepare a cash budget for six months we have sales figures here from March to August and we have purchases from uh, March to August and we need to prepare the cash budget we have some also additional information here we'll look at them uh, we have receipts and we have total receipts and then payments and then total payments and then we have net cash flow uh, which is uh, total receipts minus total payments and we have um, um, opening balance at bank and closing balance at bank yeah so let's see um okay so let's start here so you're saying here all sales are on credit and 35 percent of customers are expected to pay in the month of sale and the reminder in the next month so in this case we have we have all sales on credit means customers they will not pay anything 35 percent customers expected to pay in the month of sales and the reminder next month means for each month we customers pay 35 percent of total sales and then they pay the rest and uh, next month so let's start here so we have the first month uh, we have cash sales here uh, we have um, in this case saying uh, customers will pay only uh, 35 percent so for March customers they pay only 35 percent yeah and the reminder next month so for next month so the sales for March is just uh, 500,000 times 35 percent yeah they get me hundred and seventy five percent um hundred and six um seventy five thousand for apple is going to be two things here we have um we have sales for apple times thirty five percent plus what we have we have the reminder from previous month so we have here we have from March we have um, 500,000 times the reminder which is um, 65 percent yeah and this will get me 482,000 uh, 482, 82,500 so let's try for May May same same scenario we have in May we have um, 320 times 35 percent yeah plus the reminder from previous month times 65 percent yeah same for the month after June so we have June same thing so we have two uh, um, 230,000 times 35 percent plus reminder previous month 320 times um, 65 percent okay we have also July same thing so for July 210,000 times 35 uh, percent plus reminder previous month June times 65 percent and finally we have um august so 450 times 35 percent plus reminder previous month um 65 percent it get me it get me uh, 294,000 okay now this that's clear for sales so managed so all customers 
uh, they paid uh, only 35% of total sales for the month and the reminder for the next month we've done that so this this is the first one um, is done now we're moving to the second one all purchases are on one month credit from suppliers means uh, we don't pay straight away we pay for what we purchased from our suppliers next month yeah so in this case we have for uh, purchases we have we wanted to call it um, uh, materials from suppliers so in this case we have um, for the first month we have zero nothing for the next month in this case we have um, what we purchased in um, previous month yeah same so uh, for May is um, um, what we purchased in uh, April and so on in June is going to be what we paid for supplies in June and for uh, July what we purchased in um, June and for August our purchases for um, July yeah so all of them what we have here uh, now for August we're not we're not interested in August you see we make uh, purchases for August since we're doing this uh, forecast of cash budget for six months so that, that there's no cash movement uh, affecting our cash budget because the payment for all uh, for August is going to be in September so that's not relevant okay let's move on so we've done the first one uh, we've done the first one and done the second one now let's move to the third one additional equipment costing of um, will be purchased in May and here we have is 40,000 additional equipment costing 40,000 will be purchased in May so in this case uh, we have a payment in May 40,000 so we have here equipment for May 40,000 yeah so we've done that we have a loan of 40,000 has been negotiated from the bank uh, from the same date so this is how we financed our um, equipment uh, for May in this case we could say that we use the 40,000 to buy the equipment in this case you've got uh, the equipment here is uh, negative cash flow. We have positive cash flow here from debtors. So we borrowed money, 40,000. So this is in receipts. What we have also, we have wages expected to be uh, 37,000 per month and are paid during the month. So in this case, that's fine. We have uh, wages as a payment, 37,000. 37,000 and this of course all month from March to August so we've done that we have also rent of 65,000 per annum is paid quarterly March June September and December so we have um, if we want to calculate what we pay as um, quarterly in this case um, rent um, for each quarter so what we have here we have just we need to divide that by four so 65,000 
divided by 4 in this case we have 16,250 and saying that paid uh, March, June so only uh, September, December they are not relevant because we're doing only cash budget for 6 months um, in this case uh, moving on we have um, 16,250 as rent for March and we have one for um, one for June we have also um, so this done this we have depreciation on fixed assets um, amount to 12,000 um, per annum so uh, since we're doing cash budget what we need to know about depreciation depreciation is a monthly expense allowed by accounting standards to reduce the value of a company's assets the figure is a non-cash expense meaning the company is not actually spending cash therefore depreciation does not fit into the cash budget yeah so in this case we've got nothing to do with depreciation we're not going to record depreciation in the cash budget we have variable overheads amounting 50% of sales and are payable one month in arrays in this case we pay that one month after so in this case we're starting with variable overheads um, the first month we have nothing the second month is going to be uh, 15 15 uh, what said um, here 15% um, of sales okay so in this case this equals to 15% of the month of um, of sales of previous month so times 15% same for next month so sales for previous month time 15% same we have sales in June, sales of um, May times 15%. We have for July, we have sales of June times um, 15%. Okay. And we have for the month of August, we have um, sales in um, July times 15% so we've got all of them now we have so we've done that we have also fixed overheads of uh, 450,000 per annum are payable one month in arrays in this case we have fixed overheads per annum we need to calculate that uh, into um, uh, monthly monthly um, fixed overheads so we had 450,000 divided by 12 so you get me 37,500 so in this case is going to be this is going to be the figure for um, every month starting from April since we are doing that the month after so we have nothing here but we have for here we have uh, figures yeah so 30 37 500 so this is for fixed overhead 
we have also 